Hello lads and lasses, Steer Place here, and um, hmm. this is a ship that has been memed upon and made fun of, but I bought it anyway, but because of how shit its reputation is on uh, PC. So I bought the tier 4 Russian premium cruiser Krasny Krim. This ship is such a joy to play on console. I mean, after all, it is Svetlana at tier uh, 4, which is not ideal. But it's a meme ship. It's basically a ship that defined Luigi on PC. Meaning, Memetage 100. Now let's take a look at how this ship looks. Now, aesthetically, this ship isn't that appealing, to be honest. Kirov looks way better, or even Furitaka to an extent. But this all has to do with the many, many, many guns this thing has. I mean, just like actual Svetlana. And Krasny Krim is Svetlana. It is the original ship. And if you can't tell, those are dual-purpose secondaries. They, um, if you don't tell, they look like anti-aircraft guns. And then you see the main guns, which... Hmm. Yeah, these are the same guns as Nevni. These are the same guns as Nevni and Gramyashi. Are pretty much all the Nevni class destroyers. It's the same gun. And this one is obstructed by a secondary. So you can't fire forward. But this comes into play when I show you the gameplay on Krasny Krim. So let's take a look at the commander. Shall we? So Nikolai Kuznetsov has commander. This is this, he has a skill to increase the main battery range of your cruiser which is great because most of the time you get to HE spam on this ship. We have Burn It Down XXL for HE shell fire chance. We have Igniter, which increases, which increases the chance for causing fire with your cruiser's main or secondary battery HE shells. You punch through for AP, in case you ever decide to switch to it, I don't. Fixated, which is the shell grouping, and the refill station to reduce the reload time of your cruiser's main batteries. I mean, you could. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna go for EOP because why not? So, for Krasny Krim, and these are the inspirations I have. Norman Scott, which increases shell grouping for uh, your cruiser's main guns. And Andre Rue for the HE shell damage. Again, this thing is uh, pretty much a small ensk at tier 4. So you pretty much need every single HE skill you can have available. Now, let's take a look at the upgrade. For the upgrade, I went for aiming systems because of the dispersion. So pretty much you'll, as many shell hits as you land, you probably set at least a handful of fires, if not more, which is excellent. Now let's take a look at hmm, the regrettable part, the armor. Uh, the armor is um, it's questionable. And um, if pretty much if you played Marblehead, you know the exact same flaws are in Krasny Krim, except besides the... 10 millimeter overmatchable bow you have this this I mean even all that leech can protect itself but what else is there to say it is Soviet so pretty much it carries over I, Svetlana Citadel which I believe is about the same size That's pretty much the armor for it. I mean, it's nothing new. For but at tier four, it it's very very bad. <laughs> very very damn bad for a ship to have this kind of armor at tier four. And I'm not saying have it all purple in 450 to 99 to 999 plus millimeters of armor. You can't have Thanos ship yet. But it's just laughable. <laughs> But if you know how to play this thing, armor isn't really the, your uh, worries. 
This thing has 25,000 HP, so don't even try and um, rush unless you want to get sent to the bottom of the sea quicker. So not really ideal for rushing. Now, we've looked at pretty much everything we have to offer. Now we need to get into some gameplay, which I'll show you right now. So here we are in uh, the Krasnik Rim, and this might be my last few segments of commentary that I have to add. Notice how I will play the ship later on in the match. I'm not going to play it like, for example, Kirov, but since this thing has guns on both port and starboard side, you could use that to your advantage if you're planning on rushing. If you spot an enemy ship, there's a small strategy you could do that also works on PC, which I recommend using. You see that Phoenix right there? You turn to port and then to starboard, so you can fire all your guns, pretty much at, at the same time. You do that. You, you do this strategy, you get more farmed hits, and uh, eventually if you, want, if you have uh, a good skill, unlike EOP, because this is after editing, I'm trying to tell you that, um, try and get pretty much as many fires as you can. So that strategy that I like to call the worm, works perfectly so I recommend using it so, and this is a test match in AI to test this new Kuznetsov build that I have because I just used for example Makarov and Nikolai von Essen so I decided to give Kuznetsov a shot so that's all I have to say for commentary good luck and I see you on the high seas
Мастер подоблен. 